Hey guys, so uh, I'm I'm a hot mess. I will gladly admit it. My face is very angry with me, and there is currently a little black kitten outside my house that I wish to go out and take in to have with me forever, but I can't have him or her yet. I also have a giant which arm is it's this arm a giant burn on my arm from my job. Um, but I kind of want to make this because there are a couple points that I want to make about society and females and okay it's another entry into my long 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 list of online dating fiascos because I haven't quite learned my lesson yet um so basically to start from the beginning uh, I was texting a guy last month and like it was going cool and like chill and all that stuff and you know he seemed like a decent normal human being for the most part um, and then one day he just stopped texting me or replying to my texts, and I was like, okay, sha, sha, phone. And I was like, okay, that's fine, whatever, just take out my reel and throw it back in and hope something else happens, maybe eventually. I don't really care at this point anymore. To me, it's just funny. But, um, fast forward to last night, uh, about 1, 1 .50, 2 a.m., um, I woke up at 4 a.m. to a text message. Um, who I found out was from him, I, like, deleted his number, because I was just like, uh, no time for this shit. And so I deleted his, uh, number, and I got a text message that I found out was from his number, because I looked back on some of the past texts that we had sent. And it basically said, the text message said, um, hold on, let me, I took a screenshot of it. Um, just for shits and giggles in case no one believes that this is my life. I'm not going to show it because it does show the number and I just, it's kind of vulgar. Uh, you should ask the guy, is this someone before trying to pick him up? Whore. Send girlfriend of two years. Huh? Last time I checked and like I looked back through the messages, he said he was single for a month before we started texting. So, Obviously, dude's fucked up, girl. Find yourself a better man. Second of all, how does that constitute me being a whore? Last time I checked, a whore is literally a prostitute. Last time I checked, I'm not desperate enough to sleep with people for money. That's not a career goal that I want in my life. I've been to jail once. I don't want to go back. And second of all, know the whole fucking story before you send a text message to a random chick saying something like that. Because that just makes you look dumb for staying with this guy if I know for a fact that he said he was single, girlfriend of two years, um, and you're sitting there blaming me for something that's not entirely my fault. If he told me he was single because I asked him how long he'd been single because I always do that because shit's happened before where, you know, oh, turns out he has a girlfriend. Um, so I always ask, you know, how long you've been single? He said a month. I was like, cool. You know, it's not my fault if your man is a piece of shit and a liar. That doesn't constitute me for anything. If he had said he had a girlfriend, I would have backed the fuck off. I would not be getting involved with that because that ain't my game. I want a guy that's totally fixated on me, that wants me and only me, and I don't want to be in competition with someone else because I don't believe that I am in competition with anyone else, any chick or any man in this world. All we are all doing is trying our best to get by, and if you're stupid enough to stay with someone who, like, obviously has issues being loyal to someone, then that is not my fucking problem. It's just not. That's your game. Whatever. My hands are off of it. I have since deleted the text and, or, well, I've deleted it off my phone. I still have it saved. Um, but I was like, before I, like, realized what was going on, because, like, I was woke up at 4 a.m. because of the stupid fucking text, I was like, what the fuck, who is this? <laughs> what? Okay, cool. Why are you texting me this at 1.30 a.m.? Like, I kind of want to know the shit that went down that caused that, because that probably would be some really funny shit. But it's like, 
Girls, if your man's a piece of shit, don't call other girls whores. Leave them and find someone better. I'm really happy that I didn't end up with this guy. Because obviously, it's... He's not quality. And I'm kind of about quality in my old age. Um... And it's... Oh, I just... <laughs> I don't understand people, like, 90% of the time. Like, I don't understand girls who, like, do that, who, like, blame other people for issues that their guy has. Like, I can see, like, where the anger would come from if someone intentionally went after a guy that was taken and intentionally went after a guy that was, you know, not single or, like, even, like, I don't even fuck around people who are on breaks because it's like, I don't believe in breaks in a relationship, like, we take a break, the relationship's over, like, we don't, I don't, I don't do breaks, I don't, and so, it's like, I don't, I don't go anywhere near, if I had any inkling that he had a girlfriend, or whatever, or they were on a break, or whatever the fuck the story is, definitely would not have texted him, like, we never met up, we never did anything, but it's like, Girls, don't blame other women for things that your stupid asshole boyfriend does because it's not my fault. <laughs> Trust me. This is how I look like 90% of the time. Every once in a while, I'll put on makeup. Still don't look that much better. But <laughs> this is like... This is me, hair messy, face clean and angry. I'm wearing sweaties. Like, it's not my fault if your boyfriend is dumb. How about that? Basically, just don't fucking judge people unless you know the whole story. It's like PSA of the fucking year. And it just bothers me because it's like I would never fucking do that shit to you. I would find out the whole story, look through all the text messages, no matter how bad it sucked, and then be like, wow, you're a douchebag, and then leave him. My favorite stories are the stories about when a guy cheats, and then the two girls become friends, because that's how the world should work. Is that how the world works? No. Of course not. Because people are stupid as fuck. But, yeah, so, PSA of the year. Find out the whole story before you judge. Because last time I checked, I'm the part of this thing from a whore. In fact, I think I have cobwebs down there by this point. <laughs> Alright, guys. Sorry for a little bit of a ranty video, but that's what this channel is about, right? For me to come on here and just freaking lose my mind for like 10 minutes-ish in a video. Anyways, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Share it if you think I have a good point. And subscribe if you want to see more from me. I don't really have a schedule, just whenever something kind of happens or something that comes up that I talk about, like, I make a video. Um, if you want to know anything about my daily life or just want to see what I post on other social media platforms, they are all down below. And also, if there's anything you want me to talk about, let me know and I'll make a video about it. Alright guys, as always, peace, love, and may the force always be with you. Bye!